Hello, my name is Joron. This is Tech Thursday, and I'll be your guide today as we explore Orbitry's reset input. So that's just a simple frequency sweep of Orbitry in audio mode, and we're listening to the Y and Z outputs in the left and right stereo channels. Now let's do some feedback patching. If I take the equilibrium point output, which is a gate, trigger, pulse, however you, you look at it, output, if we self-patch that into the reset. Now we have steady oscillation. Playing with the distribution, the equilibrium point parameters. Now we get very different sounds from Orbitry very quickly. We can add some modulation to that. Doesn't that sound fun? It's basically the modeler equivalent of free jazz. My apologies to all the jazz aficionados out there. So what does the reset input do on Orbitry exactly? What it does is it resets the oscillation. So it, it resets all the outputs to zero and then the chaotic system will restart. And if you keep the parameters in the same way, it's always going to restart in the same way. And this works at audio rates, but also when the module is in low frequency mode. So you can, for example, sync the modulations to the first beats of, of a measure. Let's try something else. We've got a generator tree, and the core output is resetting our orbit tree. Remove the modulation. So in this case, it's working a lot like oscillator sync, but Orbitry is of course not just any oscillator, it's a chaotic oscillator. So as we turn up the frequency, we are getting more and more chaotic periods. You get these octave switching effects as well. And at maximum frequency, we're still resetting it, but you have so many chaotic periods in between these resets. That it just sounds like noise. We can hear this in the context of a little sequence. And all we're doing is just playing with the parameters to get very different timbres.
And a big reason why this works is firstly because the reset works at audio rates as a sync input, but also because it has a Schmidt trigger built in. So you don't need to put in a pulse wave, in this case we're just using the triangle wave from Generate 3. You can get some pretty glorious bass sounds out of this. And another reason why this works, as I turn up the frequency modulation again, is that the frequency modulation on Orbit 3, when the modulation depth is set to maximum, is volt per octave calibrated and temperature compensated. So we can pitch modulate both of our oscillators, Orbit 3 and Generate 3, together. And that's essential when doing these kinds of sync patches for getting a constant timbre as you play a sequence. So that was today's Tech Thursday. Thank you for joining us. Take care and see you next time.